Not far from Kursen there is a small, but quite famous village with an unusual name Jeroisko, originally it was called Progno, and it is called this way, because the future hero of the Soviet Union Pavel Kristoforovich Dubinda was born there on July 25, 1914, having received seven forms of education, Pasha got a job as a handyman in a fish farm. In 1936 he went to serve in the army in the navy. The guy was assigned to the warship Chervona Ukraina. Deserted and missing, Dubinda made his first brave deed during the defense of Odessa. On September 22, 1941, when the boat under his command under heavy fire of the enemy was able to successfully deliver 80 sailors, who drove away several divisions of the enemy and threw them away on 6 kilometers from Odessa. When one of the German bombs hit the cruiser, there was total confusion and the commander wrote to his superiors, specifying the losses, that petty officer Pavel Dubinda had deserted and was missing. But the sailor had not gone anywhere, and together with the 8th Marines Brigade he defended Sevastopol, was shell-shocked, and was captured by the Germans. The sailor ended up in a concentration camp in the south of Ukraine and from the first days he was plotting his escape. Twice he tried to escape, but those attempts were unsuccessful. Chance helped, it was hard for the Germans to keep the prisoners of war, there was not enough food and water and no one to guard them, so the German soldiers often exchanged prisoners for food, valuables, or booze. When prisoners were driven to Nikoliv, a local woman traded Dubinda for a chicken and he was able to return home. After he came back the sailor was sent to a corrective battalion and was assigned to the 293rd Guard Regiment, where he proved to be a brave and fearless soldier and, despite the stamp, corrective, was made a hero of the Soviet Union. Leave me my undershirt the ensign got a new uniform, but refused to take off his vest, and asked the commander to let him keep it, because it has all the soul of a sailor. That's how he was nicknamed, Sea Soul. On August 8, 1944 the battle for Skorlupki began. Paul showed fearlessness and killed seven German soldiers, capturing their trenches. For his courageous deed he was awarded the Order of Glory of the Three Degree. The naval soul of the man was bursting into action. On August 20, commanding a platoon of riflemen, Paul Lightning attacked the enemy near the Polish village of Mostoka. The soldiers under his command recaptured the railroad tracks from the crowds, killing more than 18 German soldiers. Having been wounded, Pavel continued the fight and after the death of the company commander he took his place and successfully accomplished the military mission. For selflessness and bravery he was awarded with the order of glory of two degree. After the battle the brave sailor was appointed a petty officer. From October 21 to October 25, 1944, Dubinda's company participated in the battles near Stalyapinin, captured German trenches and strengthened their positions there. Paul engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the enemy and defeated four crowds. For courage and heroism he was awarded the Order of Glory, first class. On January 21, 1945 in deadly battle with fascist invaders near Yodafan village Pavel's platoon managed to capture enemy fortifications and throw the Germans back more than a kilometer. Commander Dubinda was awarded with the order Bogdan Khmelnytsky three degree for heroism and courage. Hurricane fire at the enemies on March 13, Pavel Kristoforovich's platoon participated in the storming of German fortifications. The commander managed to kill 12 Germans and took into captivity a whole platoon of German soldiers. On the same day the commander together with his soldiers stormed the village of Bladio. On March 21st the survivors of Pavel Kristoforovich's platoon defended the captured position from 200 German soldiers. When they ran out of bullets the commander started throwing grenades at the krauts and broke through to the machine gun, opened fire at the German troops with their own weapons and went on the offensive, taking 40 crowds prisoner. On March 26 Dubinda together with his platoon was sent on a reconnaissance mission, where he came under heavy machine gun fire and was seriously wounded. Under incessant fire of the enemy the soldiers carried his commander from the battlefield and brought him to the medical center. He celebrated victory day in the hospital and learned about the fact that he was awarded the title of a hero of the Soviet Union. After the war Pavel Kristoforovich returned to his homeland and worked as a simple bosun. He died at the age of 78 and was buried in Kherson.